When I see culture as like concerts and theater and museums, I think it's a great way of like, like when students are encouraged to go like to stuff as a museum or a theater, um, they kind of break through the regular student spaces. Well, personally, um, culture means experiencing a community and connecting to others through their language, uh, the arts and the society. I define culture as um, knowledge, behaviour and values that is associated with particular groups of people. That's, that's probably the definition I'll use. For the collective term that we give to customs, traditions, arts that we associate with a particular region, country or location and that is what makes that place unique and special. Culture can be one of the strongest aspects of having knowledge without knowing it. Anybody have different kinds of culture, different kinds of background and it can always bring a different perspective and different idea to a problem or a solution that allows them and others to see things differently and to assess things in a different type of way. I think speaking as an international student, if you come into a location and you see forms of culture that you're familiar with being represented, you the exclusion aspect of being that international student is, uh, is reduced a lot. If you come in and you don't see any sort of representation or anything that connects you to something that you're familiar with, um, I would say that the integration and the chances of integration properly would be much lower as well as not having an understanding that local students would have towards your culture because I'm not exposed to that. I think that would also reduce the rate of you being integrated properly. I think definitely getting involved in a load of societies helped sort of like integrate me into Exeter as a uni and then going to all of the sort of like protests and like pride sort of like helped integrate me into the community and the, the local society. Hi, I'm George XTV. I'm at the Peaceful Pro Choice Gallery today. And as you can see, they have fun. It takes strength to be angry. It is great to be angry. I'm a woman of colour, and every day, centuries, me, my mothers, my grandmothers, your mothers, your grandmothers, have had to fight. Fight for voting. Fight for rights. And now we're here on campus, fighting so that we do not get judged for having an abortion. Uh, but personally, I haven't really witnessed Exeter having a diverse culture. I realise this is only because I've been here for less than a year, so maybe I haven't really experienced it to the full extent. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't really see it as having a, a diverse culture. Because a lot of the stuff that I see is very Anglo-Saxon focused, which arguably is a culture in itself, but I, I don't think it's necessarily diverse. If I had to make an assumption, it would probably be based very much around a white, possibly religious cultural history. But despite that, within you know within the culture, you can see a lot of recognition of different types of culture. So, artistic forms, artistic forms of expression, with statues and architecture and different types of buildings. So, there is a culture, but it's sort of more, it's more Eurocentric culture rather than a global culture. I don't really think you can say this is one culture. This is one culture. As you can see, for example, like when colonizers came to an indigenous land and kind of stole their culture or like completely, um, how do you say that, like um, erased their culture. I don't think that that is possible, that you can erase culture just by getting another culture. So like I love it that it's so changeable and so dynamic that like calling something culture would be a very static way of saying it. I don't know if I made myself clear, but I just think it's something people just invented because they wanted to categorize stuff. A first step of having a cultural uh, base of knowledge is that everybody can relate to it. And it's a really, it's a simple step that allows anybody to get included because they all have their own culture, their own background, and they can bring something to the table that allows them to be integrated but also allows them to connect with people around them. Uh, I think culture can help integrate students because different groups of students can find different niches within the culture. 
for example, there's the elements of food and music and different things that can bring them together. So I think if we had more cultural events and activities that brought together students and the local community, that would be helpful because I think a lot of students feel like they're confined to life on campus here, especially if they're from a different country. I think that they, it would help them feel more comfortable here if there was stuff that reminds them of home. As far as I've been able to tell, there's something very visible about culture here, about uh, the way that um, culture is uh, represented or is claimed to exist in the community, uh, especially with regard to uh, university. Right? Um, and this is less the case uh, for Lausanne, as far as I know, because culture very much exists within the city uh, on the whole, uh, through theatres, through opera, through uh, cinemas, through festivals as well, uh, that don't often have too much of a crossover with university, though obviously there are some uh, outlier examples and events. I think within the university we should uh, change, like make people, make, make students more, uh, um, more curious, have, have them more um, to discover, you know, new cultures. Um, and new beliefs and teach them what these beliefs and these cultures and these ways of living are.